What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today we have a dedicated video on the new XRP to Corium Bridge that just went live. There's also some liquidity pools that are happening on some stuff that's built on top of Corium. We're going to go over it all today. This is something that recently just launched. They launched it actually on March 20. So we're going to show you how to bridge your XRP over to Corium and how to bridge back and forth. It's very, very simple. I'm actually going to do a tutorial live today for you. First things first, though. I mean, look how cool this graphic is, right? All of the Cosmos, you know, ecosystem, the IBC stuff is coming over to XRP. And there's now this very nice bridge here. So... First of all, we do have a Gold Squad validator node on Corium, so you can stake your Corium with our validator node. Uh, our validator node is called Gold Squad, the name of our community. Um, I will link the tutorial on how to stake inside our validator in the description. Now, let's go over this new bridge that has just came forward. So here was the initial announcement. The XRP Ledger Corium Bridge is live on Sologenic. Now, Sologenic, I've talked about for years now, like probably over a year or two years or something crazy. Corium was a recent one that I've been turned on to, and now we actually help validate transactions on their blockchain. So, XRP, Ledger's XRP Ledger users can now access powerful DeFi applications across any compatible IBC chain. That's very important. Any compatible IBC chain. Okay. That is pretty crazy. All Cosmos chains slash IBC compatible ones. Um, it is decentralized. Okay. So they're mitigating the risk through a network of layers or relayers. Right. And we'll see that in a second here. There's a non, -cust non custodial architecture as well. And then they link to the Corium bridge right here. They've got this nice video. XRP uh, meets the super ledger. You know, 100 plus IBC enabled chains. Super cool. There's a multi-signing account. You guys will show you the architecture. I'm not going to explain it too in depth, the architecture, because it's like very technical. But we're going to show you right now. Okay. So here is a product briefing uh, for the XRP Ledger Corium Bridge. Okay. This was provided to me by the Corium Development Foundation. And you guys can see they go through everything here. Right, so there's Sologenic, Pulsera, which we'll look at, and then Welp, which, to be honest, I have not explored, but we're going to look at Pulsara as well. Here's the actual architecture, okay? So this is a decentralized, uh, or it is decentralized, so decentralized bridge uh, mitigating the risk through a network of relayers. So you can see there's this multi-signing account that issues and receives tokens. Um, there's relayers here. Uh, and then they have the bridge contract. So it's a very, you know, advanced workflow here uh, and advanced architecture. Um, but since they're mitigating that risk and making it decentralized and non-custodial, it's extremely powerful. Okay. So they go through here. The architecture can be divided into three key parts, a multi-signing account, uh, a multi-sig wallet that actually like relays the tokens and issues them. Um, and then there's the relayers, which sit between the two chains, um, between the multi-signing account and the bridge contract. So the bridge smart contract on Corium is what spits you out the tokens, okay? That's how I understand it. And the multi-signing account on XRP Ledger is the thing that spits you your XRP tokens because this is a bridge back and forth, okay? Here's the asset flow, which we're just going to show you. I'm going to literally show you how to bridge your tokens over. Why would you want to bridge your tokens over? Well, Corium actually unlocks a lot of potential for your tokens. Like when you bridge XRP over, uh, each XRP actually turns into a smart token, which is extremely cool. Then you unlock all of the dope stuff that Corium has, right? So here's some of the capabilities that are enabled. Smart tokens, right? IBC interoperability, so you're with all those 100 plus IBC compatible chains, liquidity management, cross-chain dApp development, and DeFi applications. That's my favorite one. XRP holders will be able to access DeFi products 
including staking, lending, borrowing, and more. That is extremely cool, okay? So let's go back up here for a second. Here's kind of the asset flow, and then we'll get into the tutorial, okay? So you initiate a transfer by sending a payment transaction to this multi-sig account on the XRP ledger, right? And you're specifying the Corium recipient. So let's say you send the XRP to the multi-sig, and within that, you're actually specifying who the Corium recipient is. Then the Relayer network is continuously looking and waiting for those transactions. Once it detects one, it's actually gonna submit proof of that transaction to the Corium bridge contract. The bridge contract is then gonna verify it, uh, and then it spits it out to the recipient. That's that's the simple version of it. And then from Corium to XRP Ledger, so getting back across the bridge, you're actually going to send the tokens to the bridge contract. A real layer identifies it, uh, and then they forward the details to the multi-sig, and then the multi-sig spits it out to the XRP recipient. Let's watch it in real time. This is the bridge. I love this little animation. It's very futuristic here. Here's the bridge, okay? I'm obviously gonna leave the link in the description. Let me just make sure I'm actually using the live one here. There we go. Here we go, okay? So it's gonna say connect wallet on two different things, right? Because this is a bridge. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect our XRP wallet. This is where the XRP is that we want to bridge over to Corium to unlock all of that interoperability, okay? So the wallets that are here are Solo Dex, Ledger Device, Descent, um, and Zaman, which was previously Zoom, okay? Or XUM or Yum or whatever it's called. Zaman, okay? We're gonna use Zaman or Zaman. Uh, so I got Zaman on my phone, right? I'm gonna log in on my phone. We're gonna click connect to Zaman. Now I'm going to actually go and scan this QR code live for you guys. Right now we scanned it and it's gonna, it's gonna bring up a slide to accept. We're gonna slide to accept it and then watch the interoperability happen right here. Oh, I gotta do face ID, there we go. So sign successfully and boom. You can see it reflected right here. Here's my uh, XRP address. Um, now we're connected, right? We are we are officially connected. Now we gotta connect a Corium wallet. So they currently use Leap, Kepler, or Cosmo Station. We're gonna use Cosmo Station right here. We're going to simply confirm just like some kind of MetaMask or something, you know? And then here you have the amount, okay? So this is what we wanna bridge. So you can look through some of the tokens they have enabled. Um, we're gonna bridge some XRP over. So I'm actually gonna bridge 100 XRP over for you guys right now. So we're gonna type in 100. Um, you can also enable the fee toggle to include the fees in the amount, okay? So we're gonna keep that off right now. Uh, we're also going to use the autofill feature, which actually autofills your address from your Corium wallet so you don't have to go and retrieve it. So I click that. This is my Corium wallet that I want to bridge to. It's going to show you the route. So we're going XRP Ledger to Corium. Um, we have a bridging fee of 0 0.87 XRP, uh, transfer rate zero. It's going to happen in one to two minutes and we're going to receive 100 XRP, but it's going to charge us 100.87. So if we put the fee toggle on, it's actually going to include the fee in the transaction. Okay. Very cool feature. I love that. Just the little things make it so good. Now we're going to click continue. It's going to give us the bridge disclaimer, blah, blah, blah. We know that Corium and uh, Sologenic is all about their business. They, they don't play around. Now we're going to log into our uh, Xamon wallet, right? And we're going to wait for the transaction um, to actually show up uh, on here. So boom, we got it, right? So this is Corium Bridge. I'm making sure everything is good. We're going to slide to accept it. Uh, and boom, I had to face ID and it's signed, okay? So signed and dispatched. You can see the transaction queue and boom, there you go. We're done. We just bridged XRP successfully to Corium. You can view um, the transaction on the Explorer, but we just did that. Okay, now we have a smart token representing XRP, right? And if you want to get that back, like bridge it over back from Corium to XRP Ledger when you're done with it. Oops, my Kepler or Kepler is opening. 
Uh, if you want to bridge it back, you're just going to switch. You're just going to switch your bridge, right? So you're going Corium now to XRP Ledger. You're selecting the token. You're doing the same process. Super cool stuff that they've built, okay? So now you are on... You're compatible now with 100 plus IBC chains, right? Cosmos Station. You've got your um, XRP in the Cosmos Station. Let's actually check ours. Um, and we can see we have some... Uh, native or sorry, we go to all assets right here and we scroll down and boom, there's our 100 XRP right there. Um, ready to go. Like it's on, it's in Cosmos station, which is something that could never happen before. And they've made it happen. Okay. So, uh, as of March 25, there was already 370,000 XRP tokens bridged over. Um, and, you know, they have some interesting stuff that's built, some layer two stuff built on top of the Corium blockchain, some dApps, right? Pulsera is one of these, and they actually have the Sara token as well, or Sara token. Um, but there's a two-way bridge between Corium and XRP Ledger officially live on there. And they're calling this a DAX, okay? Pulsara DAX, which is a DAO-based exchange to give the power to the community, provide liquidity, claim rewards, and trade all of your native tokens uh, with their smart contract-based exchange, okay? So I launched up the DAX just to take a look at this. Um, and right now they have 300% more rewards for all liquidity providers, which is crazy. Uh, and if we go to pools, you guys can see people are earning rewards on their XRP right now, okay? Okay. So XRP against Sara is currently earn, earning 7.5% rewards. You've got XRP against Corium. Um, you know, all of these different pools are happening right now. You've also got their swap feature, their bridge feature here as well. Um, but the focus of this video is on the Corium bridge. Other tokens that are interested um, in being supported on the bridge can also register to get supported. Um, but here's our conclusion here right? This is a significant step towards interoperability, okay? I am bullish on all of what's happening right now. Uh, and we've been so busy that I, I really uh, I really was not able to cover this earlier, but I'm covering it now. And this is a huge, huge step for Corium, for XRP, for everything, okay? Super crazy. Um, go experiment, go bridge your tokens over, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be looking at what kind of capabilities I can unlock by bridging XRP over, getting that smart token, um, playing around in all of the DeFi apps that are currently available. So big shout out to Corium. We are major supporters. We run the validator node, Gold Squad. Um, but if you enjoyed, drop a like, comment, subscribe, join the Gold Squad Discord, and goodbye. <laughs>